When peace like a river attendeth my way, when sorrows like sea billows roll, whatever my lot thou hast taught me to say, it is well, it is well with my soul, it is well with my soul, it is well, it is well with my soul. I sing all oh, the bliss of his glorious thought. My sin not in part, but the whole is nailed to the cross, and I bear it no more. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, oh my soul. And Lord, haste the day when my faith shall be sight. The clouds be rolled back as a scroll. The trump shall resound. my soul it is well it is well with my soul thank you Dennis Mayer Jr. I know this young man personally and he's available for singing engagements. And just get in touch with Eternally Yours and we'll help you reach Dennis. Powerful, anointed singer that loves Jesus. Thank you for tuning in to Eternally Yours because I have a very powerful, anointed, timely message. I think this could be the most anointed message I have ever spoken in 40 plus years. I believe this message is a word for the body of Christ, and I pray, Almighty God, it goes far and wide. The message is called Tried and True. Tried and True. Now, God knows, and you know, folks, so many troubles are happening, calamities, world pandemic, so many troubles happening to family and relationships and worldwide even. And about three years ago, I noticed, and I was saying to people, I've never heard of so many trials, even with good Bible-believing, praying, uh, wonderful Christians following Jesus. About three years ago, I said that. And then the next year, it was worse. And this last year, it's been worse than ever. And so some people might think, 
what's going on? What's happening? And some people might even think, where's God? <laughs> and the thing is, folk, folks, God knows it's all happening. And he's not, not up there in heaven wringing his hands, thinking, oh, my poor kids down there on planet Earth. No, he's got a plan. And it's a good one. And God has a plan. And you know what? He wants you in on his plan. He has a wonderful plan. For the thoughts of God Almighty, the God of love, are good towards us. And somehow, someway, he's working all things to good. Romans 8, 28 is still a reality. But I believe that God is allowing, all allowing, because he could stop this in an instant. He could. He's all-powerful. He can do anything. God just speaks, and I saw in the Word, he just thinks what he wants to happen, and it will happen. But I believe what God is doing is allowing for troubles to come to purify his people. He is looking over planet Earth for people that will be strong, hanging on to Jesus, believing his word, come hell nor high water, hanging on to Christ for strength, as though, as though their life depends on him. And that's where I'm at. I tell you the truth, God, you know. I just believe that God is in control. And I ask my family, when you see me stressed at all, remind me God's in control. If he's in control and he's all powerful, somehow, some way, you're going to come through. You're going to come through. You're going to come through. Do you know what God wants you and I to come through? Pure gold. Let's go for the gold. Let's go for the gold. In the word of God, it says, in the book of Peter, the trying of your faith is more precious than gold. Oh, I want to believe God for this, what I'm telling you folks. The trying of our faith is more precious than gold. God loves you. God loves you. God loves you. And you know, he wants to move in the most powerful way. But he wants to move through people that have come through the trials and come forward pure gold, that have hung on to Jesus and his word come hell nor high water. Recently, I spoke a word on deny yourself, pick up your cross, follow Jesus. God is looking for people that will do that. Hang on to Christ and hang on to his word and press on. I'm going to believe, I'm going to believe, I'm going to believe and not lose your joy. <laughs> Don't lose your joy, folks. Hallelujah. The trying of your faith is more precious than gold. Thank you, Jesus. For God wants to bring a great revival. He wants to bring a great revival before the end times get worse. I say get worse because a lot of people believe we're already entered in. But if the worst hasn't hit, it's going to get worse. But what's he going to do with his people? The tried and true blue Christians? We're going to get stronger. We're going to get stronger. Stronger in God's strength. Our, you know, folks, take hope. Take hope. God says in the word in Hebrews, it says, lay hold of the hope set before you. It's like if you could see a rod of hope from God's heart of love that's coming down for you and me, folks. And he says in the word in Hebrews 6, lay hold of Holy Ghost hope. It's not just wishful thinking. This is by the power of the Holy Spirit. For it's an anchor of your soul, Holy Ghost hope. So have hope today and believe the two powerful words that God the Father has given me to share with the body of Christ that I believe is the answer to us having this hope and to cope better and go for the gold and be used mightily in revival. And these are the two powerful verses. Hebrews 8, verse 6. Oh, how I've been praying them now for over a month. It's like, it's like that these verses almost leaped off the page. Hebrews 8, verse 6 says, Jesus Christ is the mediator of better promises and better covenant better agreement with God, a sacred agreement with God and us to his people. Jesus Christ is a mediator. So I've been praying, God, mediate the better promises and the better covenant through the blood of the everlasting covenant between us and God. 
and so the better promises when you think about it oh come along with me and just think about it we are amazed that what Moses did. We are amazed that God parted the Red Sea. We are amazed what David did when he defeated the giant with one stone in a slingshot. But God says, Jesus is the mediator, the one that makes real, the one that makes real better promises and a better covenant. So we have entered into that. Believe it, pray it in, ask the Holy Mediator to make it real in your life, as I am doing. And I believe that this will enable us to enter into a season, maybe for the rest of our days, till God takes us home in the rapture. Enter into a season of what? Miracles upon miracles. And that's a second scripture. Hebrews 2, verse 4. And there it says, very clear, God Almighty, you bear witness. He bears witness. You bear witness through signs and wonders, various miracles, and gifts of the Holy Spirit. God Almighty, choosing to bear witness in your life and mine, and in the ministry I'm praying, to what? Various miracles, signs and wonders, gifts of the Holy Spirit. Gifts of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit grant the gift fresh of healing and miracles and faith, the gifts of the Holy Ghost moving in the body of Christ. Okay, so this is what I'm saying. By the miracles upon miracles upon miracles, God Almighty Father restoring to the church the miraculous. He did it in the book of Acts. That's why people swarmed to the churches. They heard people were miraculous being healed. People were leaping out of wheelchairs. People come with crutches like they did early in my, in my ministry at the Eternity Club in this very building where we're doing this production, where someone came in on crutches and the next day he was skateboarding. People saw him. God is restoring the miraculous to the church. This is the heart of love. But he wants to do it with and through the people and the ministries that will follow Jesus. People that will deny themselves, pick up their cross, follow Jesus. People that will live for Christ who died for them. Be one of them. I choose to be one of them. Come and join me, beloved ones. Let's see God's army moving in power and the Holy Ghost and miracles upon miracles, Hebrews 2, verse 4, again. God Almighty bearing witness, and this is how I've been praying that verse, in the name of my powerful Lord Jesus Christ, even right now, Father. God Almighty, bear witness how awesome you are, healing and delivering and saving and uplifting and restoring losses, restoring joy, restoring health. Bear witness, Abba. Bear witness you've called me into ministry. Bear witness we are your children through various miracles, signs and wonders and gifts of the Holy Spirit. Oh, children of God, he loves you. He loves you with an everlasting love. He's not forsaken you. He's seen everything you're going through. He loves you, and he's all powerful. And he wants to do miracles for you. Uh, he loves you the same as he loved Peter and Paul and John. And yes, like he loved Moses and Ezekiel and Isaiah and people in the Old Testament, and Deborah and Ruth, not to forget the women of God. But he loves you and as he loved them, but we're under a better covenant, a better promises. We best believing that and then receiving that. God said his word works if we believe it. Persist to believe what God says. Oh, Father God Almighty. Oh, Father, the better covenant the better promises. Oh, God, take this message and encourage your people with it. Encourage your people, Master. It's only you can do, Master. Oh, God, help your people. If ever God's children needed encouragement, it is now. Believe the word. Hallelujah. Every day be determined. And I'm not standing here saying I've got this mastered. 
but God's sure working it in because he's bringing it to my understanding that it can be worked in my life by the Holy Spirit and it can be worked in your life by the Holy Spirit. Never forget to ask God to fill you with the Holy Spirit. The Christian walk is to be done by the Holy Spirit, not by your human will and power, because how can we defeat the world, the devil, and the old sinful nature, especially because the devil's a spiritual power? But Christ defeated him on the cross of Calvary, the victory of the cross. Deny yourself, pick up your cross, follow Jesus, follow him. Hallelujah. God help us not to just believe our five senses, what we're feeling, but let us believe God's report. Isaiah 53 says, God asks a question for you and me, for us. He says, who will believe my report? And then he says to that one, my arm will be revealed. And what comes to my mind, it's in the book of Chronicles. I think it's chapter 26, verse nine. God said, you're with your dear hearts. God said, his eyes go to and fro over all the earth looking for vessels whose hearts are loyal towards him, looking for vessels whose hearts are mature, perfect towards him, to do what? This, to show himself strong on your behalf. Oh, beloved, beloved, dream a little. Believe God's word. God Almighty wants to make himself shown strong on your behalf. Like when I think about it, oh, Father, you choosing to show yourself strong in my behalf, personally and in my family and in the ministry. Oh God, it's just such an awesome blessing because he's God Almighty. He spoke the world into existence and he loves you. For God so loved the world, he gave Jesus Christ, sinless, holy Lord Jesus Christ to die in our place, that we could have a nature like God, like Jesus, hallelujah. Hallelujah. So we are to live by God's word. Don't be a skeleton Christian. Don't let the enemy come along and buck you around because you're all thin. Spiritually speaking, be well fed, be strong, be in the word. So you can say what it says in 1 John, it says, I am strong and the word of God dwells in me. The word of God is powerful. I remind you gently, Jesus defeated the enemy by three great temptations, lust of the flesh, lust of the eye, pride of life. He defeated the enemy as our example, Luke 4 and Matthew 4. It says he defeated the enemy with three scriptures. He said, it is written, mankind does not live by food alone, but by every word that proceeds from the mouth of God. Now, Jesus said that, his words out of my mouth. If God Almighty says to us, his people, you don't live just by what you eat, kiddo. No, you live by God's word. So get in God's word so you can get spiritual food and be strong, having overcome the enemy. Always remembering to believe God's word, whether you feel it or not. It's so easy to go by your five senses, and I confess publicly I do that too much. And then I complain about what my five senses are saying and doing and get my thoughts on them. And then I scold myself and get my thoughts back on what they should be, where they should be. Because beloved ones, if we go by just what we feel and not by faith, we will not walk as strong in victory as God wants us to be. So we gotta believe God's word and the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit makes it real. I believe it's in Thessalonians chapter two, verse 14, where it says, God Almighty manifests his word to those who believe it. God's word works if we believe it with energy or power from God. Whew. He makes the word work. See, he's not going to say something and not, not have the power of God Almighty in what he says. Amen? He's not a man that could lie. So I believe God is working right now through this message I believe that you and I are called to uh, a ministry of revived miracles. Pray that God will have your life be like the people in the book of Acts. That's what I'm praying for the ministry. I want it to be that people will flock 
to hear the gospel, the good news about Jesus, and receive Christ, because there will be no denying there is a God Almighty who does miracles, healings. Hebrews 2, verse 4, again. God Almighty bearing witness, Father in heaven, asking you to bear witness to me, bear witness to the viewers, bear witness to those hearing this word. Bear witness how awesome you are, healing, delivering, and saving, and granting the full victory of what Christ did on the cross, Abba, over the world, the devil, the flesh. Bear witness with signs and wonders, various miracles, and gifts of the Holy Spirit. This is why, again, I go back. Ephesians 5, it says, don't be drunk or by excessive wine. No. Be filled with the Holy Spirit. Even as wine, alcohol, can make a person behave unseemly, how much more can the Holy Spirit help us act like Jesus? Hallelujah. Comes to mind that we sing in our fellowship at times. We meet in Burnaby. Burnaby, you can phone in and find out where we're meeting, usually every Sunday where it says in the Word of God, 2 Corinthians 3, 17 and 18, it says, we have turned to the Lord, that's our choice. The veil is taken away of sin. The Holy Spirit is in us. With open face, open heart, we, God's children, beholding, beholding as in a glass, the glory of the Lord. What is the glory of God? It's His presence the Shekinah glory, the kebab of God, beholding God in us, our earthen vessels, beholding him and being changed from glory to glory, the kebab, the presence of God, the love of God, God Almighty being changed into Christ's likeness, all by the Holy Spirit. Oh, be sure you ask regularly, God, fill me with the Holy Spirit. And don't just say those words and then get up and move. Sit quietly and expect the Holy Spirit to envelop you. Just sit quietly, even right now. Just say, Heavenly Father, Jesus Christ is my Lord. With open heart, open hands, I ask you, Lord Jesus, baptize me, immerse me fresh in the Holy Spirit that I may follow you, Lord. Say, I deny myself, pick up my cross, follow you, Jesus. Bear witness, grant me miracles, signs and wonders, and gifts of the Holy Spirit, that people will believe, Father, you sent Jesus, even as I believe in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. What a sweet, simple prayer that can so bless your lives. Oh, precious ones, God knows there's been a lot of troubles, but he wants to turn your weeping into joy. God loves you. He wants to use your life in his great revival with lots of miracles. Amen. Eternally Yours Television is entirely supported by interested viewers and listeners like you. With your gift of $20 or more, you may request this DVD. Please prayerfully consider your role in supporting Eternally Yours Television. Oh, dear ones, what joy floods my soul to have shared that message. I just felt like the Lord lifted me, and I believe and pray you as well, into a higher level. Come up higher, saith the Lord. And I just really know that I know that I know that God wants you and I to believe for miracles upon miracles upon miracles. God Almighty bearing witness, I want to pray that into our lives. Heavenly Father, I bow in my heart for those precious ones that will agree with this prayer. Us who so desire to be used in revival, us who have been going through the trying of our faith, help us reach for the gold by the power of the Holy Spirit, Father. No matter what's happening in the, in the life, Lord God, 
because you're greater. Oh God, you're so much greater. Show your greatness for us, your children. God, fulfill those powerful words. Holy Jesus, be the mediator of the better covenant, the better promises, through the blood of the everlasting covenant, Father. I ask you, almighty God, bear witness how powerful you are to us, personally and ministry call, even spread into our dearest ones. Bear witness, Father, through signs and wonders, various miracles and gifts of the Holy Ghost, that the world may believe, Father. Let your glory fall on us, Lord. Help us be one with you and Holy Father, Jesus, that the world may believe that's revival. You send Jesus and that you love them. Oh, Father, this is my prayer. Got a revival into flames in our lives. Bless everyone that's agreeing with this prayer. Help them be people of the word, true blue Christians, and use us in your great revival. Do the miracles, Jesus, in and through us. Do the miracles, Master, as only you can do, Jesus. Help us enter in and believe for and see you do, Almighty Yeshua Messiah, our Lord Jesus Christ, Almighty God, Blessed Holy Spirit. Miracles upon miracles upon miracles that people will believe, miracles testify. You did it in days of old, do it now. I pray the prayer in Hebrews 13, God. God of peace arose Christ in the dead, that great shepherd of us, your sheep, through the blood of the everlasting covenant, make us mature, perfect in every good work, to do your will, all through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, by the power of the Holy Ghost, in the mighty, mighty name of Lord Jesus Christ, we all agree by our amen. Oh, God, make it so, for revival's sake, amen. Beloved ones, I share with you with great joy, going into the 42nd year serving King Jesus. What a joy it has been all these years to share the love of God and his word, his powerful word, that is life-changing and encouraging. And I long to stay on air. I want the television program to continue. But in honesty, the, the cost has been raised many thousands per month. And so I need some of you to give a one-time gift of a thousand and more. And I need more of you to give whatever God puts on your heart. Let's partner together. Let's keep the telecast going to further God's kingdom, to share his love. Please help. Amen. <music>